Stage two lung cancer means that the cancer started to move, but we can still treat it with curative intent. Here's what that means and how we're going to approach it. So you've had all of your scans and perhaps your tumor is a little bit bigger or one of the local lymph glands is involved. For stage two lung cancer, it usually means one of the lymph nodes that's quite close to the cancer in the chest at what we call the hilum, which is the root of the lung where the blood vessels and the airway enter the lung from the middle of the chest. What makes it stage two lung cancer is it hasn't spread to the lymph nodes in the middle of the chest and it hasn't spread throughout the body. The primary treatment for stage two lung cancer is still surgery. You need an operation to remove the lobe of the lung that the cancer's in and also the lymph nodes that are involved and the surrounding lymph nodes. We now know that rather than going straight for an operation if it's stage two lung cancer, you should have some chemotherapy and immunotherapy before the operation and then some immunotherapy afterwards. Why do we need to do that? So if your cancer has learned how to survive in the lymph circulation and then get to a lymph node and survive and grow there, we have to accept that there's a risk that there could be other microscopic cells elsewhere in the body. So by giving you a drug that gets all over the body either side of the operation, we can target those theoretical microscopic cells wherever they are. When we look at the clinical trials of that, people do better with that combined treatment approach. After your operation, you'll have some time to recover and then we'll start the immunotherapy again because we need that as an insurance policy to stop the cancer coming back if you have stage two disease. On your biopsy material, we'll be doing some molecular tests to see if there's a genetic driver for your cancer. If there is a genetic driver for your cancer, the sequence will be different. You'll have an operation and then we'll talk to you about targeted therapy after the operation. Treatment for stage two cancer is a bit more involved and the whole process takes a bit longer than stage one lung cancer. It's a longer, more involved journey, but you'll be supported by our team every step of the way. The sort of questions you'll be asking your team should be, am I having neoadjuvant, that's chemotherapy and immunotherapy before surgery, or adjuvant treatment after my surgery? If I can't have surgery, am I suitable for chemotherapy or radiotherapy or combined chemo-radiotherapy? In the next video in the series, we're going to talk about stage three lung cancer, a complex but very treatable condition. I'm Dr. James Wilson. Let's make cancer less confusing.